This video is going to cover the topic of evaluating expressions. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question for this video is how do we use substitution to evaluate expressions? We've been working a lot with algebra, and so far we've done a couple things in this unit involving algebra. One is that we've um, had to find the value of a variable. So for example, we've used backtracking to solve for x or n to figure out what that was, the value of the variable. In our work with algebra, we've also been writing expressions or equations that represent different situations or different problems. We've also reviewed and practiced the correct order of operations to solve any of those expressions or equations that we might have. What we haven't talked about, though, are times when we are given an expression and we're told how much the variable is worth, given the value of the variable, and it's our job then to evaluate the expression. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. As we work on evaluating expressions, it's important to remember what that means or to know what that means. So to evaluate an expression, you can see you're going to write this down here, you have to substitute a number for each variable and perform the operations in the correct order, right? So, so completing them in the order of operations that we've practiced. Let me show you an example so this makes a little bit more sense. So we might see something like this, right? An expression that says n plus 4. And on the side, or somewhere nearby, it will tell you that n is 5. To evaluate this, we simply need to replace or substitute um, n with the number 5 and then solve. So n plus 4 becomes 5 plus 4, right? And then we would snow cone. Of course, this only has one step. So we would just solve it and say that the evaluation of the expression, the value of the expression, when n equals 5 is 9. Right? Of course, most of the time, these evaluations require more than one step, right? But that's a nice basic one to get started with. Let's take a look at this longer expression, right? This one has a little bit more to it. So we have 5 times the quantity in parentheses of t minus 3 plus 10. And let's go ahead and evaluate this if t equals 12, right? And so, of course, we need to make sure that we first substitute in. So I'm going to go ahead and write in 12 where my t would be. So we have 5, still with the parentheses, 12 minus 3 plus 10, right? So now that's our actual expression that we're going to solve. And we need to make sure we use our order of operations. I'm just going to write this on the side so we don't forget right, what our order is here. And then we're just going to snow cone and solve it. Right? And that will tell us the value of the expression. So I've done the inside of my parentheses first. And then I look and I see I have 5 times 9 next, which means I just have one last step, which is to add. The value of this expression when t equals 12 is 55. And of course, if t was worth 10 or if t was worth 1,000, the evaluation of the expression would be different. But when t equaled 12, the expression was worth 55. Here's another one for you to try, right? So I have this expression here, and we're going to go ahead and say that f is going to be equal to 3. So you'll substitute 3 in for f and solve. Go ahead and pause the video. Solve this through and see how you did. How'd you do? Did you follow all the correct orders of operations and end up with 18? Hopefully. Um, I'm going to put one more here on the next page. And this time, I want you to solve it and have it ready to show me with your homework notes in class. So I have an expression here ready for you. r times 9 plus 9 all of that in parentheses, divided by 11. And I want you to evaluate it if r equals 10. So again, your job, right, between now and class, is to make sure you solve this and have an answer ready to show me in class. And of course, right, the essential question was that we want to know how to use substitution to evaluate expressions. If you need to rewatch this, feel free to do so. If you have any questions, go ahead and write them down and bring them in to class. 